So the other day I was asked, can you move your home point with your Litchi app while you're moving? And the simple question to that is, yes, you can. So I'm going to show you in a moment. So today I've got my DJI Mini 2 and I've got my RCM1. First thing you've got to do, guys, <laughs> is get that drone up and obviously that will set your home point. So what I've done now, I've got the drone on. As it, at the moment, you can see in the map picture, and what I will do, I'll put on the map picture, that's where that I am, and obviously that's that little blue dot. And under the red thing is the home point. So what we're gonna do is get the drone up in the air first. So we just do take off. Okay. And if I move that drone forward, you can see the home point more now now apparently what i'm going to do i'm going to walk away from the home point so it makes it a little bit easier i'll just bring that drone a little bit further as well okay so make this look a little bit more um what i'm on about so hopefully you can still hear me now i've been told there's two methods one method's better than the first one, but I'll show you the first one anyway. Now, somebody told me, if you just press down on the H, you can drag it. Now, the only problem with that is, um, if you've just seen that, you can see it moving about, and it will say, set new home point. So you say, okay. I think, personally, it's, Set it over that way anyway. I don't like that method because if you're out and about, um, I don't think it's very accurate. But anyway, that, that just shows you. I'll just show you again. So you just press the H on the screen. You cancel that. Now, what the only thing I've found of that is that what tends to happen is that the actual map moves about because you, you've got your finger on the screen. So I'll just do it once more. I've got it again. I'm going to bring it. So I'm going to bring it up here. Okay, so it's, so it's a home point. So that, that's the new home point, which is just supposedly up on that track. So I'm going to see if that drone will land on the track. So let's put go home. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you another method. Um, and I'm going to come back to the camera because obviously I've set my home point up there. Now this is, a, I think, is a better method because the times that you're going to be about, you're going to be with your controller. Now this actually sets it on the controller. So at the moment, the drone's up there. I'm going to go to my settings, which is top right, not the battery. Okay, settings. On the iOS, it's slightly different layout. You want to go down to aircraft, and you've got dramatic home point. And what you do, you put that on. You Okay, now, the drone will should come back to the RC controller or me. So we'll just see if that's true. We do take off first. So the drone's taken off. I'll just get it up in the air a bit more. Okay. I'm going to come away from the camera slightly. I don't want to land on the camera.
okay and then we just say go home so that drone's going to come back to me will come back to the controller what it's doing it's climbed up to the height that i've set it And you can see already on the blue dot, the home point is just above me now. Well, the drone is just above me, so it's coming down now. And if you notice at the top also, I can cancel that any time I want it to, right in the middle. So I'm just gonna... Right, I can see that drone is gonna land um, okay <laughs> so what's happened the drone is landed behind just behind the camera so there it is I thought I'll just show you two ways of um, showing the home point if you found it interesting <laughs> give it a like if you didn't like it give it a dislike and i'll catch you on another video another question so we got any questions guys you want me to, tr to try out for you i'm happy to help <laughs> i'll catch you on another video mm -hmm.